first time I met Ellie, I uh, saw a picture of her with a mutual friend of ours and insisted that she bring her to dinner. A few months later, when we were in Item, she turned down a holiday to Paris and then to Italy and then for some weird reason said hello to going to a small outback mining town in Queensland. unbelievably proud of the woman that Ellie has become and what she has achieved since bursting forth into the world somewhat reluctantly in 1993. Of course uh, this wedding is not just about Ellie but also of course it's about Mr Harvey Allen. It will come as no shock to Tony and Chris nor to his grandparents Ross and Carol, not to mention his sister Robin, aunts, uncles and friends, that Sue and I are delighted to welcome Harvey into our family.
think we've got people from all corners of England. We've got people from France, Europe, continent, three or four states of Australia. I'm pretty shocked with all the efforts people have made to be here. It really is much appreciated. Um, I suppose the people who have travelled furthest today, in fact there's a little girl I think who's just sat there called Sophie. I think Sophie's travelled further than anyone coming from uh, New South Wales and Australia. And I think her parents, Jack and Eileen, are probably the best example really of you all today. Cause all that I want is for you to be happy. Give me a chance to show that you can be. Well, open your eyes and see the way I The next few months, as Tim's mentioned, was a bit of a mad dash for me to meet Ellie's family and Ellie to meet mine. We travelled up to Mull, got a ferry across to a lonely island and then drove across to where there was no phone signal and met Ellie's parents. And a goat. And a goat. Oh <laughs> Quite glad to be here today for both reasons. Um, I think the first words Sue ever said to me was, so I hear you're taking my daughter to Australia. <laughs> Alright, no pressure. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Bobby. Every day while we were on holiday from that point onwards, Ellie took the opportunity to <laughs> call home and on the first ring every time her parents picked up the phone. Not to be greeted with an engagement, but to have some idle chatter about travelling around Sydney. How you kept your composure, I will never know. <laughs> a few days later, in an old flooded railway tunnel, I proposed to Ellie, whose first responses were that I was taking the mickey, to be serious, and she was pretty sure it was going to be a Harry Bow ring. <laughs> it's not quite the way I saw it going, but Ellie seems pretty chuffed. <laughs> 18 months on, and we're here. In the last five or six years, I've had a wonderful time. I found that you're a wonderful traveling companion, amazing and comfortable person to live with, and you make even the quiet moments at home and elsewhere really special. Eleanor Allen, I love you.